After the seer of Lublin died, his son, Rabbi Yosef of Torchin, received as his inheritance his father's belt, his silken Sabbath garments, and the clock that had hung in his father's study. When the days of mourning were over, Rabbi Yosef left Lublin and returned to Torchin. Along the way, it began to rain very hard, making it impossible to go on. Rabbi Yosef found lodging in a nearby village in the home of a Jew. It turned out that he was stranded there for several days, and before he left, the owner and his wife asked to be paid for his lodging. Rabbi Yosef told them that he was penniless, but that he was carrying some holy objects. He opened the sack and showed them his inheritance, and he told them to take whatever they wanted. On the advice of his wife, the owner took the clock as payment for the debt. Some years later, Reb Yisachar Ber Radoshitz, a disciple of the seer of Lublin, was passing that village and stayed in that same house. The owner of the house heard the rabbi pacing around his room all night. In the morning, he asked him why he could not sleep, but instead of answering the question, Reb Yisachar said, Please tell me, where did you get the clock in that room? And the owner told him how he had received it as a payment for lodging from a man who had no money. Then Rabbi Yisachar said, When I heard the chimes of the clock, I knew at once that it was the clock of the seer of Lublin. While other clocks tell a man that he is one hour closer to his death, the clock of the seer of Lublin always rings out in jubilation that there is one hour less until the coming of the Messiah. And that is why I could not sleep, for I danced with joy at every note. After that, Rabbi Saskar purchased the clock for a fair price and hung it in his study. And as the years passed, he became known as a miracle worker, for he followed the instructions of that clock, joyously awaiting the footsteps of the Messiah. This story comes from Gabrielle's Palace, Jewish Mystical Tales, selected and retold by Howard Schwartz.